Hi everyone, welcome. Uh, we are about to start. For some reason I felt like I'm supposed to hold this in my left hand during this reading. I think this is either, I don't know if angelite is a thing, for some reason that sounds right to me, but it really looks a little bit like a very opaque selenite. So I don't know, I'm rolling with it. Um, if you're new to my channel, my readings are a little different, and if you're returning, welcome back, you know how we do. If it doesn't resonate for you, if you find yourself arguing with it, if you find yourself uh, trying to force it to fit, it's not your message. So leave it behind for the people who this message is actually being uh, channeled for. So let's see, I have a crystal ball off to the side. I will be scrying throughout this message if I need to. I actually feel like I'm not going to this time. <laughs> because um, I'm being pressured to close my eyes, so that's what's going to happen. We're just straight channeling here. I'm not even going to use cards for this one, so you're going to uh, get very bored looking at my hair in my hands here. <laughs> Deal with it. Uh, if you aren't aware yet, I have my um, memberships open. They're down in the description box below, and at the time of recording this, which is late Sunday, um, I'm going to post this on Monday, so it may not be there, but as of late Sunday, there's still one reading left on my Buy Me A Coffee, so definitely check that out in the link. <clears throat> okay, taking a step aside and allowing spirit to pass through me. Opening up to receive information. Ooh. I'm, I'm gonna preface this. We've had a little bit of messages um, about downloads. This is for a very specific group of people who have had downloads. Okay, now we can start. Okay, so um, these downloads aren't happening like other people's where it's like some people experience lightning in their body or they're awake. It's not that. Uh, this is for people who are experiencing them in the sleep state. And so maybe it's while you're falling asleep or while you're waking up, or maybe it's in between somewhere you wake up in the middle of the night and it happens. Um, one of the reasons why it's happening in the state is because this is where your subconscious is uh, the most accessible and so it's the easiest for um, energy to pass through right we're more receptive to energy there's not anything doing it to you your body is doing it for itself and the reason why is because during the solar eclipse we process something so whatever energy center because it's going to happen in an energy center for those who I'm speaking to whatever energy center it's happening in um, there is energy that was processed around the time of the solar eclipse so this might be having especially so for example uh, third eye if you have it in the third eye I'm seeing blue flame right now um, they're telling me to say something about that please don't identify with the labels a lot of people want to say i'm this i'm this i'm this a problem is if you're this can you be anything else once we identify with a label then that's all we are right we don't really have an open mind and we don't allow our subconscious to be open to being more and the whole purpose of your spirituality is to continue to grow and to continue to be more and so if we identify with um, labels such as like blue flame or anything like that they're great labels right but that's all they are they're labels you might identify yourself as ticking off all those boxes but why do you want to be a label don't you want to grow beyond that that's the message is coming through is please let go of the label please allow yourself to be more to encompass more um, make space for more in your subconscious um, and so please work on releasing these labels with the third eye if you're experiencing this sort of uh, it's like an energy energy ocean that's like whoo, connecting into your third eye <laughs> connecting into your third eye um, it means that around the time of the solar plexus, you started having a vision for yourself again or you started perceiving something differently there was some sort of block inside your third eye that broke up around the solar eclipse time and so now what we're having happen is we're having an aspect of that energy ocean flow back into us because the block is gone for some of you you're experiencing it in your solar plexus that means you're getting tapped back into the god uh, grid so you may be having experiences with Shiva you might be having experiences with Hecate or Medusa especially those two goddesses right now for some reason are really prominent for people Lilith even but we're coming into some place of power right it's that deity power um and for those of you who that is happening for it means that there was something that was taken from your solar eclipse from your solar plexus around the time of the solar eclipse you may have even experienced that when you woke up at some point during the night um and that is a block you had a block that was removed it's some belief that was very lodged in there i'm hearing core concept uh that has been worked on and has been processed and has been removed not someone else removed it you removed it you removed it by doing the processing we just have the solar eclipse energies to uh thank for helping us with that right 
Um, there is uh, also for some of you, you're having some of this happen in your sacral chakra. These chakras might be flipping, right? We feel them almost like something inside of us is kicking us. Uh, slower for the bottom ones, still rapid. It's still a rapid one, but much rapider for the higher ones, right? And uh, what, what that is, is that always signifies that energy is coming back in, that we're either reintegrating energy or energy is coming out. Um, in the sacral chakra, you'll feel that when people come or go from your life, especially if there's past life connections to them or sexual connections to them. For some, they'll even experience it with their parents. And that's because that's the primordial center. Um, our primordial connections and our um, deep familial roots are also in that center because that's, that's the area of the inner child, right? Things that affect the inner child will affect the sacral chakra. And so be mindful of that. For some of you who are experiencing that flow coming in there, maybe you... Uh, process some sort of block or some sort of wound that we had about sexuality or about our creativity or our self-esteem sometimes can be the sacral chakra. Maybe we're working with the inner child. Something has been released and now that energy ocean is kind of returning to that, that center. And so for those of you who are receiving downloads in that way, especially if you feel information coming with that, don't try to make too much sense of it, right? That goes back to how we like to understand and categorize and label we don't have to know everything. Some of this stuff is information for our deep subconscious. And what's going to happen is it's going to start changing other areas of our life. Um, the desire to know everything is one of our pitfalls as human beings. It's one of our greatest driving forces, right? And it helps us do a bunch of stuff here in the 3D, but it's also a trap, especially where spirituality is concerned, because it makes us feel, oh, we got an answer, we know something, right? And the moment you think you absolutely know something, there's a moment where now you have become crystallized in a belief. And so that's why uh, it's so important to bring everything back to center, to being about yourself, and also to to trusting the process and to having an open mind don't have to know everything right don't don't feel like you have to understand everything you have to categorize everything you miss out on 90 percent of what's out in the universe waiting for you to explore and experience if you do that and so that's just some advice from me not from the spirit about that um here within this sacral chakra area especially um for some of you this may be something that is tied to another person usually and so you may be trying to like Draggled to like figure out is this about this person is this about this person the more you continue to do that the more you're going to re-block yourself and so just let that go right just let life be something that you experience if there's something that you want go after it if there's something that you don't want um, identify it in the things that you think you want and let those things go allow this energy to come and go go remember that your life is a flow we have to follow that flow anything that's fighting against that flow or that we're fighting against in that flow usually doesn't belong to us it's not part of us right we have to go with that flow. Um, there was a uh, Chinese master in my town. He was a martial arts expert here. And uh, I can't remember his name for the life of me, but he used to say, um, follow the energy. And so that's some of the advice that's coming through for this collective is to just follow the energy, right? Don't worry about figuring it out. Don't worry about categorizing it or labeling it. Um, you know, we want to, especially when we're excited, like, wow, I just had this experience. I want to understand it. Um, get comfortable to observing, just observe, become the high priestess, right? The high priestess doesn't have to scientifically or logically label things, categorize things, understand things. She just allows and she observes. The more you can step back into that state of observation, I'm observing what's happening to me. I'm ob both in real life and in the spiritual world. Uh, the more you're going to understand, right? We can't understand if we're struggling to come up with solutions. Then we're going to fit it into boxes that it doesn't belong in. Um, also, that message is coming back up. Release labels. That's very important for some of you at this time, especially uh, with that energy that's coming through that came through previously for a different group. I think it resonates for you as well to be very careful of your words and the, the things that you say. If you say, I am this, then that's all you're going to be right? Be very careful careful of those labels. It's okay to do these research and things like that, but remember, this is all stuff people made up, right? This is stuff humans made up. All these labels, all this, like, <laughs> I want to say garbage, because that's what it is. Um, all the garbage, that's, that's stuff that's going to throw us off our course and off of our journey, because they're things that humans created. They're, they're the labels that humans created. Release those, allow yourself to be a spirit, having a human experience, allow yourself to experience the spiritual world without having to use our humanity to control it, to identify it, to understand it, because the less you try to understand it, the more you will understand. I promise you, I promise you. So, you know, release that anxiety a little bit. 
that search for what's the truth, what's the truth, what's the truth. Man, that's how I started out. <laughs> what's the truth, what's the truth? I drove my, myself crazy trying to find the truth. And the more I tried to find the truth, the more it eluded me, right? Uh, or there were times where I pigeonholed myself into thinking I found the truth. And man, I found the truth. And I got to tell everybody about this because this is the truth. And then something happens where spirit's got to humble you into like realizing that, no, you don't have the truth. You don't have the truth. You're, you know, like open your mind, open your mind, be that high priestess, sit back in that energy and just observe. The only, tr the only truth you ever need is I am. That's the only truth you ever need. And remember that, that anything built around that is is a human construct. It's just constructed by us. Anything built up around that simple phrase, I am, is a construct. So um, whoever I'm reading for, whoever this is, uh, you are starting to remove some serious blocks out of your life. And the message that this spirit has, uh, I don't want to say this spirit because it doesn't actually feel like one consciousness, right? It just feels like the energy that's coming through is um, the message is that don't get yourself so into a knot about what's happening that you block it again. Allow it to happen, allow it to flow, allow yourself to flow along with this energy and allow yourself to go where the energy is flowing, right? Not leading us because sometimes where the energy is flowing is into making us make decisions and make choices, right? Maybe you're feeling a little bit more in charge, then make those decisions. Uh, whether they go well or they don't go well, doesn't matter. It, it's all about the experiences that we're having and the things that we learn when it doesn't go well, or the things that we're learning when it does go well. Don't be afraid to make those choices and to take this, um, this new code that is kind of interacting with us because it was something that belonged to us in the beginning. We just allowed something in life to to clog us up and not be part of that uh, energy ocean, right? It's returned to you. You've had something that is returned to you and um, allow it to change you from the inside into who it is that you are becoming and who it is that you're supposed to be. And remember that the whole goal isn't to identify why you're this way or why you're this way or, you know, I'm this and that means I'm special. You know, don't get away from those ego traps and just remember that all you need to know about yourself about everyone around you is that I am, right? If you don't understand what that means, sit and meditate on that because that's so simply profound, <laughs> which is why so many people use that, those two little words, because it's so simply profound. Um, that's all you really need to know. And uh, there's a flip side to that as well, but we're, that's not for this video. So um, I'm gonna leave this here. This is a rather short message. I hope this resonates for you. And if it does, please hit that like button. It helps channels grow. It helps the message get out to the people who it's meant to get out for. And feel free to leave me a comment. And until next time.